I think I might have ruined it. I might have ruined it. <laughs> Hi there, welcome to my kitchen for another DIY with Adele. So today I will be experimenting with dyeing some lingerie using uh, some instant coffee. Now, why am I doing this? Well, the lingerie piece that I have is a bodysuit and it has some mesh detailing on it, but you know, as with most items that have sort of skin tone mesh on it, this mesh isn't my skin color. Uh, so when I put it on, yeah, it looks good, but it doesn't have the same effect. You know, it's supposed to look kind of like my own skin, but it doesn't. So I'm trying to come up with a small fix for it. So I thought, you know, I'd throw, um, I'd try a little trick in the kitchen to see if it would work. So I'll show you the piece now. This is it. Um, I got this uh, from a Calvin Klein uh, sample sale that they used to have in the building that I worked at. Um, it's a size small and actually, yes, complete transparency. I've actually dyed this already. So the first time I tried to dye it, I used tea because I think that's the more common way to sort of dye fabric or not. I don't know, but I somehow sort of had that idea. So I tried using tea. I used three tea bags and just a little bit of water and I dunked this in it. And this is the color that I ended up getting. I'll put some photos so you guys can see, you know, before and afters and things like that. But this color still isn't close enough to my skin tone. I used three tea bags. I didn't want to use any more. It was pretty good tea, you know, <laughs> and I wasn't want to waste it dying stuff. So yeah, maybe the tea bags weren't enough. I don't know. But this is the color that came out. I think it did a really good job of staining uh, the mesh so that it's a little bit closer. If you're lighter than me, this is probably fine. The tea, you know, tea is going to be okay. But since the tea didn't work, I thought maybe coffee, you know, darker, stronger might be a good alternative. So I went to the dollar store and I found some instant coffee. I think any instant coffee will do. Uh, so this is what I have. And... I'm going to dunk this again in a mixture of instant coffee and hot water and see what color I get. So yeah. So to get started, I have a bucket um, or you know anything you want to use to do the dyeing. This blue bucket was actually at one point filled with sheer butter from Northern Ghana, where I'm from. It took me at least two years to get through it, but now it's empty. So now I'm gonna be using it for my DIY project. So that's exciting. Uh, so a bucket, your instant coffee, and some hot water. So let me grab a little spoon. I think the water is hot enough. Um, I'm just going to, I'm not really going to measure this. I'm just going to pour some hot water in here. That looks like three cups of coffee. <laughs> Some of you might drink that in a day. Uh, and then let me take this and, oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, this is too big. All right. I ended up pouring it in. I did not need a spoon. Okay, maybe a spoon to stir. Oh my gosh. I'm using quite a bit of this because, you know, I'm pretty dark skinned. So I want a really dark wash on the, on the mesh. should be good enough I'm gonna get a glass and you know fetch some of the coffee so you guys can see the exact color that I'm using okay wow okay so you can see that it's pretty strong coffee pretty dark at this point so I think I'll be good enough um, and it's pretty simple. Grab your piece. 
and throw it in. Okay, so it's been about an hour, probably closer to an hour and a half. While I was waiting, I edited the first part of this video. So, you know, use your time wisely. Um, so I think this is ready now. I'm going to rinse it out. Halfway through the process, halfway through sort of having it sit in there, um, I got a little bit nervous that I hadn't maybe put enough coffee because I wasn't seeing it turn as dark. So I came back in and I added more coffee <laughs> to make it even um, the coffee mixture even more potent. So that's something that, um, you know, you'll want to make sure you get the right balance of. Basically, if you have darker skin, the more coffee and the more intense you're going to need the mixture to be. And if you have lighter skin, you're going to use less. So, you know. Uh, it's a chemistry thing. Find the right balance for your skin tone and you should be good. All right, cool. So this is what it's looking like now. Okay. I think it's a good color. Can, you know, I can't really tell, but I, you know, it's a little, it's definitely darker from where we started. So I'm going to rinse this out and see, you know, what the overall effect is. This is the color I got. It's a little darker than before, right guys? Not as dark as I thought it would be, but definitely darker than what we started. So I don't know, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm going to let this dry and then I'm gonna try it on and see if I like it a little bit better now that I've been able to tint the mesh just a little bit. So, is it just my eyes or is this a little bit more yellow than, um, actually it's looking more yellow on the camera and it's kind of more tan here. Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to let it dry before I make any judgments. Uh, and then of course I'll have to try it on. Uh, so stay tuned for the styling video. Yes, it's a lingerie piece. Uh, but best believe I'm not only using it for the bedroom, I'm also probably going to wear it just to go out. <laughs> So stay tuned and I will, uh, once it's all dry, I'll uh, share a few styling looks, okay? Thanks for watching and I will check to you guys. So I did what I said I was going to do. I hung up the bodysuit to dry and then I decided to go on YouTube and watch how other people coffee stain their items. And I stumbled onto this video and this woman was boiling the stuff, right? She boiled, she didn't just use hot water, she actually left it boiling. So I thought, oh my God, maybe that gives it like a more a stronger color and that's what I should have done. So I grabbed it off the, um, the hanger and I put in a little pot and I let it boil. And yeah, real chemistry happened then. I don't know what it is, but it completely turned a different color. <laughs> you're gonna see, you're gonna see in the styling video. So make sure you come back to watch that. I think I might have ruined it. I might have ruined it. <laughs>